Hello everyone. Welcome back to today's topic of the day. Today we'll be discussing about Daudi Bohra community. Now a constitution bench of Supreme Court referred to a large bench of 9 judges, a series of petitions challenging the authority of Daudi Bohra community leaders to excommunicate their members. Now who are Daudi Bohras? They are Shia Muslims and they trace their heritage to the Fatima Imams, direct descendants of the Prophet Muhammad. in Egypt the Daudi Bohras throughout the world are guided by their leaders known as the Aldeal Mutlaq which is a unrestricted missionary who first operated from Yemen and then for the last 400 years from India their present leader is Mufaddal Saifuddin now let's understand what is power of excommunication now the leader of the community is recognized by the members as having the right to excommunicate its members In practical terms excommunication means not being allowed to access a mosque belonging to the community or a burial dedicated to the community it was submitted that the power of excommunication was part of the management of community affairs in matters of religion now there are certain arguments against excommunication in november 1949 the bombay prevention of excommunication act now repealed was enacted which sought to prevent the practice of excommunication prevalent in certain communities as it led to the deprivation of legitimate rights and privileges of its members and in keeping with the spirit of changing times and in the public interest the 51st leader of the community challenged the constitutional validity of the act stating it violated fundamental rights guaranteed by the constitution under article 25 which is freedom of conscience and free profession practice and propagation of religion and article 26 that is freedom to manage religious affairs talking about supreme court's observations the supreme court in 1962 held that the power to excommunicate is an essential part of the community its objective is to enforce discipline and preserve the denomination and not to punish sardar saidna saifuddin versus state of bombay talking about the recent observation a constitution bench led by justice s k call said that the 1962 judgment needed a relook the court held that the consideration was needed mainly on two grounds balancing the rights under article 26b the right of religious denominations to manage their own affairs in matters of religion and article 21 that is whether the practice can be protected under article 26b when tested on the touchstone of the constitutional morality now what is khatna or the female genital mutilation female genital mutilation is a practice that involves or injuring the female genitalia for non medical reasons in india it is practiced predominantly within the bohra muslim community it has also been recognized by the united nations as a human rights violation that can harm the health and integrity of a woman let's discuss the recent developments an academy for religious and other educations for the daudi bohra community al jamia to safia was recently inaugurated in mumbai also known as jamia this is an academic institute exclusively catering to the education of young boys and girls from the daudi bohra community now that was little bit about the daudi bohra community let's take a practice question with reference to the daudi bohras recently seen in the news consider the following statements statement 1 they are a predominantly muslim minority turkic ethnic group whose origins can be traced to east asia statement 2 the daudi bohras throughout the world are guided by their leader known as the aldeal mutlaq now which of the given above statements is or are correct you may take a moment and give your answer in the comment section below now the correct answer is b that is only statement 2 is correct statement 1 is incorrect i hope you liked the video and found the information useful you may also check out our daily current affairs section on our website and for more such videos stay tuned to next is youtube channel